everybody, this is Rachel from The Playful Elephant and I want to welcome you to my first ever tutorial series on making interactive scrapbook layouts. So we're doing something just a little bit different than usual. We're going to use a three ring binder as our cover for this album. I've done this once before as a request from a client. And that was a few years ago, and I recently got another request from a client to do the same thing. So I just thought, what a great opportunity to share my process for that with you. So in this series, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to take a store-bought three-ring binder and refabricate it into this beauty. There's gonna be a video for every layout in this album. I'm not going to put them all up at once, but I'm going to release one a day. Okay. Uh, now, I do want to uh, note that throughout this series, I use whatever papers and design elements I have available in my stash. I'm not using one specific collection throughout, so it's likely you won't be able to make your pages completely identical to mine. You're going to have a lot of freedom to make each page your own, but I am going to walk you through the process of how I... Uh, you know, just to get the same general layout and look of each page. Where there's a lot of interaction, I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. Um, and that brings me to Silhouette Studio. So I use Silhouette Studio and my Cameo 4 for the really interactive pieces, um, as well as for a ton of digital embellishments where I printed and cut them. Um, so where I do use Silhouette Studio to make the really interactive pieces, I share those files with you so you can cut them yourselves. But if you don't have Silhouette Studio, that's okay because I also walk you through how to make those really interactive, piece, specific interactive pieces by hand. Um, but if you have Silhouette Studio, um, it just makes it easier. Okay, so let's get into this album. And also, if you follow along with this tutorial series, I just wanna take note that in like the first layout video, maybe even the second layout video, there's a lot of camera shake. I didn't realize it right away, but I do fix it. So if that makes you crazy and maybe you feel headachey, <laughs> it's not permanent. All right, let's get into this album. So the front is decorated using Knitwit Collections Panda Girl. So a lot of different flowers going on here and a lot of different elements from that digital paper collection. So I just put a piece on the front and the back cover, and then I wrapped it with another piece here. And then just, um, I took a circle in the background with some elements that were flattened down against it, so it's just one printed piece. Background is just one printed piece. And then a popped up panda bear here within a circle frame and some flowers, and another panda bear popped up here. And then just a, sen a sentiment in honor of her mother. So this is the front cover and this is the spine and the back cover has the rings in it or on it I should say. So the front cover is just a showcase of different size photo mats. So she can put a photo in any one of these and if she doesn't want to put a photo she doesn't have to. I decided not to stamp cameras in this picture because I wanted her to have the freedom to do with the photo mats what she wanted to do. So pretty simple, a series of pictures or she can journal and everything, sorry, I'm grabbing a different piece of paper from a different collection. All the photos can go underneath all of the different embellishments, okay? So this is the first layout in the album. Same thing, series of photos. It says, we miss you and love you always. And this, mo this page mostly uses that same collection, Knitwit Collections, um, Panda Girl. So then this opens up and we have two more photos here and a whole spread to do with what you will. And then the second layout is a double. So here we have two three and a half by five inch places for photos. 
journaling spot, another photo here, and two more photos here. So this one's not completely, I, I tried to be, this is, so this is an interactive scrapbook binder. It's not just simple layouts, it's interactive layouts. Um, some of them are not so interactive and some of them are very interactive. So another spot for journaling. This also mainly uses that Knitwit Collections Panda Girl paper. That was, she saw an album that I did exclusively using that paper collection and she loved it. So that was kind of her inspiration for wanting me to build this. So that's why I did a lot of this paper collection. Well, maybe not a lot, but it definitely has more of that than any other. Okay. And uh, if you haven't figured it out by now, she loves pandas. So this layout is also a double. Okay. So here we have a photo frame. This comes out. So you can adhere a photo to both of these and then slide that right back in. And over here we have two four by four photo mats and these little panda paws, they swing out like this and this opens and we've got two more four by four photos and this is blank. So you could journal away on this. You could put more photos, whatever you wanted to do there. The next one is a single layout. And this is pretty interactive. This was not my idea, which I talk about in my tutorial, in the tutorial, um, that I found this on YouTube. And I kind of had to figure out how to make it because it was in centimeters and it, there were no words. So I just kind of figured out how to do it. But a photo can slide right in here and right in here and right in these two spots. And then this is just for decoration. I mean, I guess if you really wanted to adhere a photo right here, you could, but if it were mine, I would just put the photo here and here and here. And this is the next spread. So room for photos. This is, this will hold a four by six. This is a pocket right here. I didn't put anything in there, but that's a giant pocket. We've got a bumped up panda and her baby. You could do some more little photos here, two by three. And then this opens and we have room for photos or journaling or whatnot. These are all two by two spots. This is a four by six spot pocket here. You could put photos on one side journal on the other and a pocket here. Same thing. You could put photos wallets on one side and journaling on the other. And this next one is very interactive. It's pretty thick. So this, these tags or flaps hold page closed. This ribbon is not attached anywhere, so you can just take that out. You can replace it with a different ribbon. And I have a sentiment here. You could put a four by four photos here and here and a three by three there. This opens up like that. More pictures or journaling. But if you, these two are three by three, this one's four by six. Oh, and I didn't label that one. And then this is completely, this is a completely clean canvas. So she could do whatever she wants there. And then this comes over and there's another double spread here. So three photos that can be three and a half by five and actually four, and then another four by six. So lots of different, just fun stuff in my stash that I thought looked good with that layout with the paper. And the next layout is all about the zoo because she also um, loves the zoo. She called it her happy place. <laughs> so this is a little photo booklet that can hold three and a half by five inch photos. And this is the same that can hold two by three. So just a lot of different layers happening here that I love. She, oh, she all, she loves sunflowers. That's what I meant to say. She does love the zoo, but that's not my zoo layout. The zoo layout's coming up. Um, so this is kind of like the sunflower layout. All right, another interactive one. I can feel the weight of it. So this page I did because 
I did one like this in my Panda Girl album and it was my favorite, so I thought I would do it in this album as well. But you can slide little goodies under here and under here. You could put a photo here and here. You could journal. This is held down by a magnet. And then these four open and you have so much space for photos and other things. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I left that, oh no, I did not leave that open, but okay. You certainly could if you follow the tutorial, you could leave that open on the ends. Uh, a place to write titles or sentiments in all four of these spots. And then this opens again and two and a half by three and a half photos. You could leave some for journaling. We have a space for a title here and a title here and some sentiment here. And I left that open to tuck some stuff under there. The next layout is the zoo layout. So this is a little booklet. And this just comes out, I thought it would be a lot easier for journaling, but then you can secure it back in. But um, a lot of different zoo type things in here, which I think are magnificent. Okay, so that's that. And this, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but this is lined. So she can do a whole story there on the front of that booklet if she would like to. And then these are a couple of three by three picture frames that you can slide right in there. And one in here as well. So three by three photos in there. This next one is a double layout. Another set of tags that holds everything closed over here. So here we have room for three and a half by five inch photo, a three and a half by five inch photo over here. She could add some, you know, she could maybe add a piece of paper with journaling underneath. She could put photos here, all kinds of space, three and a half by five inch photo there. Actually, no, four by six, four by six, four by six. Journaling, I just love this. I love it, it's so cute. Over here, we have a couple of waterfalls that hold three by four inch photos with the sentiment on the very top. And then this pulls out and she can adhere pictures to the spots where they will show through this frame. Okay, and then here's another layout with some sunflowers, a little booklet that'll hold, I believe, three and a half, yep, by five inch photos, and then a couple of wallet size photos there. So this one's pretty easy and quick. Just one little interactive element there. And then this one over here is another zoo. This is, a, yeah, another zoo theme. So a large pocket down here with some tags where she could put four by three photos on the front. She could journal on the back. This large flap opens up. And there's a little card here where you could put some more memorabilia back there. And then we have some four by six photo mats there and here, and then a large pocket. Well, that's the same pocket. You could put some stuff under there and then shut all this and then put these two in to hold that flap closed. This is another double spread. So this is held down by a magnet. These booklets open. You could put a photo here and here and then these pull to show these waterfalls. So you, uh, these all have journaling lines and then you could put photos on the back. So journaling lines and photos on the back. Same thing with this one. Okay, and then uh, this is a flap over here and I saw a video, I didn't, I don't think I saw a video, I saw a a still image on Pinterest of something like this. And I just kind of figured out how to recreate it myself. But this is a nice um, bumped up frame. Like it's, 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 it uses chipboard, so it's nice and thick and pretty and it's been wrapped really well. And then that opens. There's no picture, it's just a shaker window. That opens and this part of the flap opens and you've got all these pictures in here.
And then this is also a giant belly band with which I have done nothing yet. <laughs> That's a giant belly band. This next one is also a double spread. So there's a little booklet here, a space for three and a half by five inch photos, and a pocket here with some different cut aparts. Uh, and just this one is just a bunch of different layers, not as much interaction. And then over here, we have a whole waterfall that are lined up differently. Just, just something a little different. And you can slide something under this. Three and a half by six inch photos. <laughs> and this one you can put, oh, nope, that one's closed. And then two of them have, two of them have little, little interactive pieces on top of them. You can put a photo here. And then another photo, and then another interactive piece, and then more photos, okay? This is a pocket here with some large tags that you can journal. Well, no, well, you can, really. You could journal anywhere, um, or you could do photos on the back. And then there is actually room for journaling on two of them on the actual decorated side. Okay, and then the back inside cover kind of complements that last page. It's a vertical pocket here, the same pan to paper, which I think is just beautiful, I love it. And then we have a four by four booklet for photos, a four by six booklet for photos, and two four by six photo album, or photo mats. And that is the album. All right, so thank you for joining me on this walkthrough video. We are gonna jump right into the first video in the tutorial series, which is gonna tell you exactly what you need as far as equipment or uh, supplies and whatnot. And I'm gonna post one layout a day for the next uh, under two weeks. There are about 15 distinct layouts in this album. So let me know what you think, leave a comment below, and thank you so much for joining me.